The C to Eat review here. I'm trying to get my head around the name. You can say the name on the camera. Hi, I'm Flavella Lamour, the Serpent Dancer. And what are you bringing to the Adelaide Fringe this year? I'm guessing serpent dancing? I'll be bringing my snakes to the uh, oh. Adelaide Fringe this year. Awesome. And when's it on? What's it about? What's happening? So I'm doing a dinner and show at the Doric House in Mount Barker. And I'll be doing burlesque performance. Then there'll be a main dinner, mm -hmm. main course. And then I will be doing my Arabian fantasy belly dance. Oh my goodness. How long have you been and, doing this for? Uh, since 2006, actually. Yes, that's long. Yeah, long time. So it's in Mount Barker? Yes, at the Okandorak House. Yes. It's a glamorous castle restaurant. Oh, that sounds fancy. And it's also a masquerade, so come dressed up in masquerade. Oh, this and is you can be get nice. serpent dancer cocktails at the bar as well. There you go. What goes in a serpent dancer cocktail? Well, it's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> I want, to know. I want to know what's for dinner. You know, the person I was like, what's for dinner? Do you know what's on the menu? Uh, there's a choice of three different yes. um, courses for the main meal and dessert is set. There you go. Guys, <laughs> like, there's me want to talk about food. She wants to talk about serpent dancing. Well, is it a, how long's the show go for? Uh, 90 minutes. 90 minutes? Oh, you're going to get money's worth. With the dinner. With the dinner as well, drinks as well. Oh, yeah, and the dinner is included in the price. Of course, it has to be, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, how many different snakes are you dancing with? Um, I'm dancing with two different pythons, an albino python called Golden Rubies oh. and my beautiful Venus uh, bread lie python. Oh, I love snakes. I love them. It's so fun as well. Do the crowd get to touch them, hold them or anything like that or is it all... Well, because of the COVID, <gasps> COVID rules, oh my goodness. Um, I probably won't be letting people, no. but I used to let people have That'd a That'd be pack. so fun. Yeah. Guys, so there's only one night only? Two, two shows. Two shows, oh my god. At the so, end of the Adelaide Fringe. I'll chuck it up in my notes, guys. And you can catch Flavella Lamour, the serpent dancer, in Mount Barker, 11th and 18th of March, 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. 90 minutes, dinner and a show. You can't go more than that as well. Thank you very much for your time. Come dressed up, up in masquerade <gasps> and I expect to see you there. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm just meeting Laura for the first time. She is part of Somnia, which I'm talking to Beck later on, I think maybe next week. But anyway, Laura, the new part of Somnia, tell folks what's going on, where it's about, and the third venue it is at now. Okay, we'll start with the venue. So we're at the vault in the Garden of Unlikely Delights, finally. 9.40pm. Um, 9.40pm. How do you know that? I'm up to date. Wow. You can see I'm media. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, 9.40 p.m. The vault from the 15th so to the 20th your, um, of Denver. March. Um, Somnia is about narcolepsy. So not many people know what narcolepsy is, but it is a little bit of a sleep disorder we've got going on. Um, and the story of Somnia follows the dreams of a narcoleptic, but it also channels just normal dreams of a normal human. Um, basically, the show starts by Beck goes to sleep um, in her bed and then all these dreams come to her throughout the night. Uh, some are scary, some are not scary, some are fun. Um, and it just collaborates aerial, sideshow, cabaret, contemporary dance, just some little, little extras in there as well. So if you saw it last year, it's going to be a bit different this year. Yeah. What's, what are you bringing to the table, Laura? Ooh, I don't know if I can give everything away. Oh, secrets. Oh. I got a bit of a large roll this year. Okay. Um, and we're bringing some nice little surprises that you wouldn't expect. Um, but yeah, I don't want to give away too oh, much. I can see but... I've stumped her. And guys, here we go. I interviewed Beck on this last year, so go to YouTube, you'll find my interview with Beck, and then I'll do it again. I gave this show five stars last Ooh. year. So, yeah, and I said the I reckon you can do six this year. <laughs> I said, are you doing the same stuff? She goes, no, nah, it's going to be different. It's different. It's really if different. If you see the behind the scenes of Somnia, you'll see there's a little bit of different there as well. Laura's a bit going, mm, what can I say, what can't I say? Oh, I don't happy. want to give too away. No, much. keep it a secret because you don't want it spoiled as well. Exactly. Who's but coming back again from last year? Miss Moisty's coming oh, back? Oh, we've got Moisty. Yes, we've got Moisty. Obviously, we've got Beck. We've got Kashmir, the singer. Yes. Our beautiful vocalist. Yes. She'll be with us. Uh, we have Alex the... <gasps> yes, the... Alexander the Great. Yes. The sideshow performer. Yes. 
Um, we have uh, also Alex the Aerialist from last year as well, who's with the net act, she's just bloody incredible. Mm -hmm. um, she's bringing some sneaky surprises as well. So we've really upped the game this year. Um, okay, a show with lots of secrets, guys. Somnia, check it out. There will also be other stuff. You know, I'm all about Somnia. I'll, all right, Laura. I'll leave you with one thing. Flying beds. Really? We'll just go flying beds. 15th to the 20th of March at the vault at 9.40 p.m. in the Garden on Earthly Delights. You got it. Look at that. I'll just email today about it. Thank you much, Laura. Thank Take you. Care. Thanks, buddy. Guys, see, do, eat review here with Diana. And my eyes were just went big. She just showed me the poster. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. Diana, welcome. Thank you. This is Singing in the Pain. I am the producer of our amazing disability cabaret. Yes. Uh, this is our third year running so yes. far. Uh, in the first year, we actually won a weekly cabaret award. Mm -hmm. It was very exciting. Now we've come back with a little bit more, uh, adding more and more extravaganza to our cast. Is it all singing? It is not. It is, in fact, mostly burlesque. Burlesque in the rain doesn't sound as good as singing in the pain, does it? I mean, I'm sure it would be aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this is uh, based on initially my own experiences yes. and then ended up um, becoming this big full-scale cabaret variety show. Yes. Yeah, we do have mostly burlesque performers, but what we also What gives you the have... guts to come up on stage and do something like that? I think the... I, I feel very empowered by burlesque yes. and I feel like I'm given a lot of agency yes. and a lot of opportunity for storytelling and character development. Yes. Um, so I really enjoy combining that feeling with disability theory mm -hmm. because as disabled people our agency is so often taken away and yep. undermined. And this is our way of, you know, just owning it, saying kind of screw that. Yeah. We're doing what we want. We can to do. do whatever we want. Exactly. Um, How long have you been doing this for? So we debuted in 2019. Yeah. I had been developing it for three years prior to okay. that. Um, and yeah, we took 2020 off due to the pandemic. Yeah. We are back with a vengeance in the yes. last week of Fringe. And we also have some on-demand sessions of our debut show. Okay, on-demand sessions. How do people go to that? Uh, so that is an online viewing. Yes. Uh, you get, get a password to view a link. Yep. And you'll be able to view that or any day of Fringe. Yes. Oh, that is yeah. so. so tell people where it's at, where it's on, and the time it's on. We are at Nexus Arts. We are 8 p.m. on the 18th and 19th of March. And both shows are Auslan interpreted with a relaxed session on that Friday night on the 18th. Where is Nexus Art? I know the name, it I can't picture it right now. Just behind the Lion Arts Center uh, near Mercury Cinema. Where oh, all, the, I know. all the venues the, in the West there Village. There are a few shows. Yeah, yeah, there's the West Village shows there as well. I'm going to a few shows there. It's me trying to work yeah. out what's happening. <laughs> The West yeah. Village has got shows this time as well, guys, yeah. so check it out. Thank you very much for your time, guys. I'm going to flash this up again. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. Beautiful. Guys, check it out. 18th and 19th. Thank you very much for your time. I'm not going to touch that. Eat Review here with Ben. How many Bens have I met now? About five, I reckon. Shrek less. This already. Look at that. It's already caught my attention. Then tell us all about the show, when it's on, what it's about, all that good stuff. So Shrekless uh, is coming to Adelaide Fringe for opening weekend, February 18th to 20th. We are playing the Flamingo in Gluttony, 9.30pm every night, for those three nights at least. Um, if you've got working out, Shrekless is a burlesque drag musical theatre parody of everyone's favourite movie, yes. Shrek. Yes. So it's for everyone that loves Shrek. So if you don't love Shrek, there's something wrong with you, so you should come and see the show. Have you done this show before? We have done this show before. We um, debuted at Fringe World in Perth yes. in 2020. We won a weekly Fringe Award there for Cabaret. Uh, and since then, we've toured Brisbane and Sydney. We've done the Tivoli in Brisbane, the Enmore Theatre in Sydney. Um, sold out all over there, so we're ready to bring this spectacular show to Adelaide. What gave you the idea for this show? Uh, I was very drunk, yes. and it's stupid, and it's hilarious, and that's why it's a perfect Fringe show. Why do kids' movies the Disney side, the Shrek side, makes such good burlesque. 
because everyone automatically relates to them. Okay. They know exactly the character they're seeing on stage. They know the music. They know the music. Yep. Hey, now you're an all-star. Yes. Who wants to want to see Shrek stripping to that? I mean, it's, it's a match made in heaven. I'm always fascinated because I went, oh, hang on. There's a whole bunch of Disney sort of, mm -hmm. they're not Disney, but uh, it's always related to the kids stuff. And I'm going, yeah, but I'm attracted to it because I know it. Because you, you know, know what I mean? I saw Disney in drag and that was... I haven't seen Shrek list, but I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like. Which characters can we look forward to seeing, right? Uh, basically, all the characters you see there. Shrek, Donkey, Dragon, Fiona, Lord Farquaad, Gingerbread Man, Magic Mirror, um, Pinocchio, the Three Little Pigs, the Doolock Dancers. There's so many different characters. And all the music from the movies. All the music from the movies. There we go. And with their own little twist on it, I'm guessing, as well. Correct. It's very burlesque, very drag. You'll have to see it. Only one hour? One hour show, yeah. For the weekend, opening, opening weekend, weekend at, at, at the 9 Flamingo. 9 30, 9 30. I know the Flamingo. Well, guys, come in, grab something to eat, watch some Shrekless, go check out Ben, guys. Ben, thank you very much for your time, bud. Thank you so much.